Hey there, it is one, two, three, draw, kids challenge the teacher. And today the kids have asked me to draw Darth Vader. So I'm just going to draw Darth Vader's head today. So follow along. I think this one would be a good one to color. Let's start out with the shape of Darth Vader's hat or helmet. Um, it's very triangular, but it has a flat top. So I'm going to start off with the top of this head, go in this direction, and I am going to swing it around. So it's like an upside down cupcake. You can see that. But this part here bends out slightly, so we're going to make that bend out. Now this is like the halfway point, so it should be about the same as the top part and the bottom part. We've got to think about the math or else things get a little bit out of shape. Now, the next line we're having is going to curve down like this and like this. Now it might look a little bit more familiar to you. And then we're going to make the center part of the helmet come in like this. So this would be the center halfway point. I'm going to drop down just a little bit for this. And I'm going to make a soft letter M. That means that this is not going to come to a point. It's just going to come to a curve. And this is going to come around and this will kind of come down like that. So you can see it's a letter M and I feel like I went a little bit too curved there. So this is almost straight. There we go. I like that better. I am looking at a photograph. So if you wanted to look up in Google images or any other images, Darth Vader head, I'm sure you'll find this picture. All right, so we've got the helmet created. Let's finish up the helmet with a little bit of a line that goes across like that and like that. Might make you think of eyebrows and two lines that come down like this. Now, if this, since this is a graphic, I would actually make these lines stand out thicker like this so that they can be outlined. And this would be black and these lines would be white. These lines would also stand out as white too because this whole helmet has to be black. All right so now we're going to get to the face part of it and we'll start off with his eyes. So right under this spot almost touching I'm going to make a little oval and then another little oval underneath of it. Attached to this piece I'm going to make an oval that comes across and goes up into the top of the head. I try to make those two look exactly the same and they are going to remain white. So everything we're drawing is actually going to be white and everything that's left in the background will be black. Underneath of his eyes, there's also a slight line like that. And then underneath of those lines, there's the letter V. So it kind of curves like this and like this. See how it's a letter V. Now we're going to double up that line. Same thing on the other side. That was a little thick there. We'll fix that up. Okay, we're almost done Darth Vader. Now we've got to get his, the front of his face. So right here, I'm going to go up like see where the two V's meet come down to this spot there and I'm going to try to follow the angle of those V's so this one goes this way this one goes that way and then I'm going to bring this line up make them even on both sides as best you can and now we're going to go for the center part of this face mask which would have the longest piece would be an oval in the center then another one still landing in the same kind of row there. And then the third, same thing on the other side. And underneath of these, we're going to make a pyramid shape kind of come around like that. And the last thing we're going to do is take the edge of this and make a mark that comes in and back to there. And go all the way up. All right, now we got to imitate that one. So we can start from here, come all the way down. 
go all the way over and now we're going to go from here down to there and you've just drawn Darth Vader now this could have shadow and blending if you want it to but it could also just receive a ton of black color pencil or marker and you could really you know make this look like a sharp graphic but I think a pencil sketch with some sketch lines and some blending looks just fine. Good luck.